Hello everybody, welcome back to Super Symmetry. Last episode, we got ourselves a machine that I, I don't think we actually have it working. It's just kind of sitting there. I want to get us some solar powered boilers so we can move it out of our base. Problem is, it's... Well, actually, no no problems today, because uh, it ain't nighttime. I wanted to do this yes, last episode, but uh, no. So, what are we looking for? Well, two things, redstone dust, and also... Silver dust. Why redstone? Well, it's important to progression. Now, here there's a lignite vein. I might want to keep that in mind. Oh. Well, it seems I've already found the lignite vein. Now, I don't know where we're going to find... We got a lot of magnetite out here. Oh, my. Now, this is considerate, right? So, if I just dug down there, I would have found ten ages ago. Cobaltite. 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 I don't think we're looking for that stuff. Uh... This is looking... Str okay. Uh... Well, it looks like th this is not a place you want to fall into the ground at. Oh, okay. Uh, what is this? Reds... Well, I look it looks like I'm falling into the ground here. <laughs> now, redstone is one of those ores you gotta go deep to find. Like, I'm saying real deep in the ground. Now, um, if the sun sets on us... We are going to be trapped in this cave for a good while, because I don't got any torches on me. I, uh, actually I do. I'm going to make sure to leave some torches on the way up, because, uh, getting trapped in a cave is not fun. Now, you can find these between 36 and 56, I believe. I don't know. Let me check the book, and it will tell us everything we want to know. So, here we go. We got red alloy. Right, we got this stuff. So, red alloy dust, whatever, no. Redstone ore, between 15 and 35. Holy crap, that's, that's pretty deep. But we'll probably hit one at 35, and it will stretch down to 15. Because that's just how this is. You know, I don't know why I usually ignore the clay on my way down. This stuff is kind of useful. A very useful stuff. Indeed. I'm going to just have to snag some of this. I don't usually uh, do that, though. Okay, we got... Uh, banded iron. And now that's... That's interesting. We're right at 32 here. And it's just a vein of banded iron? Now that is a pretty good find, if I do say so myself. It's all banded iron. No redstone in sight. Now that's pretty crazy. I, um... Well, I guess we can always keep going. And here it is. Redstone ore. This stuff is glowing. Now, I guess you can find this in banded iron veins. Very, very interesting stuff. You can also find it with cinnabar, of course. But this stuff is kind of, uh... I'm not finding lots of it. So, I guess banded iron is uh, something you just find with redstone? I don't know. You just find a lot of it with it. Like, I guess redstone you find in trace quantities. So, uh, we're gonna be needing a bit of this stuff. Don't know how much. I'm gonna grab a stack. This stuff is really cool. I I should collect some of this for my base, I think. I'll make a collect- We'll add this to our pillar of weird ores that I think are really cool for some reason. Because this stuff just glows. And it's like, weird. Like, you don't- This is nice, because it allows you to mark out caves without torches. Except it's uh, kind of more expensive, though, if you think about it, because because a torch, you can get like 16 of them from a coke. And, uh, you only get one of these for if you mine it. So that kind of sucks. Which I got redstone ore. I got lots of this stuff. We're going to go ahead and leave. Now, this was an amazing find here. I'll go ahead and mark this out on the map. The reason this is so amazing is because... Banded iron is basically able to be made into steel and uh, just like magnetite. Uh, I don't know if there if magnetite is better than this stuff. I couldn't tell you. That's something you're gonna have to figure out for yourself because uh, that math is complicated and oh my, it's kind of dark. Well, it's probably too dark to be searching for uh, what is it called? <laughs> Silver. But uh, I mean we got one of our goals done. Holy crap! There's silver not too far away from it. Now, I don't know how deep silver goes, so I'm gonna have to dig down for this one as well. We'll figure this out. Okay, so to this day, I've not found a silver vein. I have found only silver dust, but uh... 
Silver dust is okay. I got enough silver dust that I was able to make a solar boiler. It's not in this episode though, that will be in a future episode once we get to the low voltage era. Which takes us a really long time because of Zinkite. That's the whole, that's like the biggest issue we have right now. Cause I don't realize this, but Zinkite is something I need to start trying to get really badly in this silver. You can't actually get silver if I, if I click on it, it doesn't show me where you get it at. What the heck? So I guess we're gonna go down to the nether. Actually, it, never mind. I don't even have any torches. Like, I'm in the dark right now. And it's very hard to find my way out of this place. But I think I, if I just keep doing this spiral motion, I'll get out eventually. No silver, but we got redstone. That's good. We failed twice at getting silver, but there's more silver out here than I... I'll check both veins. I'll check both spots. All right, so we got no, we got none of that. But we do got redstone. So uh, I guess I should get this redstone processing over here. Oh my, we're doing a lot of stuff now. Is this guy growing? That's very disappointing. Okay, so I got a plan. We're not gonna make a solar boiler. I wanna make some progress today though. So we're gonna go ahead and move out this stuff and get rid of the old boiler. You wonder why? Well, because I could just use the old boiler. <laughs> it's, it's really simple. I could. Literally just use the old boiler, not even make a solar boiler. Even though we all know that solar boilers are just too good. Did I get that? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. You see, I need to get some resin, and uh, for progression, we need resin so we can make start working on the next machine, which is a vulcanization machine. Uh, basically, we're making rubber. And you get rubber from these guys, these Christmas trees called rubber tree sapling. Basically, you don't want to chop them down and put them in your house, like I did. No, you want to go and actually set up a boiler next to them, and set up a latex collector. Which, I mean, to be honest, I, I wish I could grow one inside my house, but, uh, no. Gotta set up this guy right out here. Now, he's he doesn't have the thing coming out the top, so I gotta do slap him like that, boom. He'll just spray the tree with steam. Hopefully it's not an invasion. That would, that would be bad. If it's an invasion night, that would be terrible. I gotta get this thing hooked up as fast as possible so that doesn't happen. Okay, we got pipes. Like this. I don't actually have the pump set up. But uh, all I need to do is hook up the scaffolding and then it's done. So, uh, it's probably gonna be an invade. Oh, yep, zombie invasion. What do you know? Uh, time to go through the front door as fast as possible. And I'm still set up from the pre- That ain't good. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. That ain't good. <laughs> okay, remember, there's no entry fee, fellas. Come on in. Come on in. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yep. Oh. Yep. Okay, come on. You, you just got, like, a step further, and you'll fall straight off. There you go. I think that's everybody. Now, time to take out the sand. Now, it seems like there's actually more behind us. Well, uh, let's see about that. Yeah, we do got some fellows down here. I'll lead them to the door. Now you can see the little thing glowing in the night. It's kind of crazy. Okay, everybody's made it around. Yep, we even got a guy with a shovel. Hopefully he drops that. I, I kind of could use a shovel. So, uh, let's, let's see here. That's everybody. So, um, have fun. <laughs> Dang! Oh, I missed one? You're telling me I missed a single guy? Well, I missed two guys, but uh, it's still not that bad. I took care of all of them. Okay, I got the pump set up finally. All I need is some lignite or coal. Uh, I think I'm gonna go coal. And uh, all I gotta do is move this stuff over there, plug it in, and it will run. And it isn't really doing anything at all. Uh, I, I don't, I don't understand. I said, put it like this, and, uh, it's not doing anything. Oh, it also needs water. What am I doing? This guy needs some water, too. Well, that's, that's interesting. I didn't realize this guy needed water. Does he not need steam at all? 
I, I, this guy, this guy doesn't need steam, does he? Hold on, let me just, uh, let me just get this guy off. We'll see if this guy needs steam. Oh! He doesn't need steam at all, does he? <laughs> what the heck? That's a lot of, well, no, it isn't. It's a hundred latex? This guy doesn't have any steam in him at all, but he's still making steam because he's got water. Yes, he does need steam. Okay, then. Very good to know. So, you gotta keep this guy supplied with steam, coal, and whatever. So next, we're gonna need a coagulation tank. And, uh, these... look painful. Requires steel. Holy crap. And this guy requires steel as well. Dang. Well, I better get to making some steel. Now, it's gonna take us a long... long... time to get all that steel. So, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna be waiting here for a good long while if I want to make that steal in today's episode, but, uh, I don't know. Should I? I don't think I'm gonna do it to- Steel bolts? That ain't- that's actually, actually, uh, easy. This- that's really easy. Steel bolts? That's it? <laughs> steel bolts. You kidding me? I can make that pretty quick. Okay, so, uh, each ingot is gonna make a block of those. Now, the thing that's interesting is that you need- Four treated wood planks for these. And I got an absolute load of these guys just sitting around doing absolutely nothing. So, uh, I'll take them. So I'm gonna need 24 ingots of steel to make that. But that ain't bad, because it's not screws. If it, I, I was thinking it was screws, and I was gonna need double. So I would need 48 steel ingots just for that. Nope. Not at all. Not a problem. Pretty easy. Now, this guy's filled up with latex, so he can't do his job. I'll just take that out, and he'll get back to work. Now this looks a bit difficult to make. I already got some of the stuff we're gonna need for this. I got the coagulation tank wall and the coagulation tank. But what I don't have is uh, most of the pieces for the tank, the walls. I don't got enough walls. I only got like a few of these guys, so um... You know, you all are lucky I record these on weekends, otherwise... Sitting here, waiting for this steel to get done... Wouldn't be possible. But hey... We're doing stuff. So I think the coagul- not the coagulation tank, the funny tank here... Is full of latex again. Just gonna have to fix that. And uh, okay... I just need eight more. Then we be piping from here to here, like a boom, and then we'll put in some latex, and the latex will do cool things. Okay, we got three ingots of steel, which means three more blocks. I'm waiting on the next five, and that will take approximately, okay, five times, I'll go eat lunch. Final piece done. It takes 60 minutes to make a stack of steel. Holy crap. You need multiple blast furnaces for this. Don't just be like me. Don't be like me. Don't be that guy. Get, get more blast furnaces than me. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, look, it looks like I need to repair my stuff. Because, <laughs> uh, just broke. Oh, would you look at that? The rubber tree's grown in the time I've been AFK. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Okay, so, it's done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and latex time. So shove in the latex, boom. Little did I know it at the time, this actually needs iron rod. It needs an iron rod to function. <laughs> you either need an iron rod or you need to be in uh, the, uh, how is it? low voltage age, because then you can make all the fancy stuff to make it run. But I just think iron rod is all you need because it basically does the job. So now I gotta go take the thing down and do it again. Okay. So now, we should be able to advance. Let's see here. Completed. Good. Next, we could probably do multi-block help. Let's see here. We need a steam vulcanization press. We won't be doing that today, though. So let me get this tank done, and I'll tell you all what we're doing next episode. So I'm gonna hook this guy up, like this, 
And I think he's taken in latex now. And now, I don't know what he does. I don't know how he works. Oh. Oh, I need to put something in there with the latex in order to get stuff out. Okay, then. So, we need input-output chains um, and stuff like that. This, I think, needs something in there. Thinking water. I'm thinking it takes water in, because every single thing takes water. So, uh, just wait till that's a thousand. No, it's, we got latex in here. What am I doing? Boom. Is that coagulating it? Is that coagulate? Tell me. So yeah, I have no clue how to use this machine, and I also probably did not automate it, because it actually requires an input-output thingies and a bunch of nonsense that I, I don't have. Still, we'll, we'll get those eventually. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye. Uh, and if you have any suggestions on how to get this thing running, that could be kind of useful. Although, I'll probably get it running myself. I don't know. Depends on when I record.